let me wrap up on, on the issue of the Senate, uh, because I know it's, you know, you, you are a lord after all, so this is an area that you would have some ex experience. Rosemary, I don't get paid anything as a lord. And when <laughs> right. I live in England, I'm a very active member of their lordship's right. house. And, the, and it is one of the most uh, distinguished debating forums in the world. Uh, and almost everybody there is a life peer has been elevated, myself no doubt excluded, because they're deemed to have achieved something significant in some area or other. Right. And, and, and so I, I, it is an upper house, but it's quite a different setup. Okay, fair, fair enough. Where, where yeah. do you think, though, that, you know, Mr. Harper is saying he's not going to appoint any more senators. He's going to try and force the provinces to figure it out. Uh, Mr. Trudeau wants a distinguished board to pick future candidates. Sounds maybe a little bit more like what your experience has been. And, and Mr. Mulcair says he's going to get rid of it altogether. What what do you think the future of our upper chamber is? I think uh, Stephen Harper's s solution is just peevish nonsense. First of all, he, he went to the Supreme Court to ask if it was acceptable constitutionally for one house of parliament to abolish the other. Well, of course it isn't, and a moron could have told him that, and Stephen knew it perfectly well before he went there. He just did it in order to avoid the issue of constitutional reform because it's a divisive issue like abortion. But we don't elect leaders of government only to do what's convenient. Second, uh, fine, Mulcair wants to abolish it. I, you can make a case for that, mm. but I agree with Justin. I think we're better off making it a serious and respected positive contribution to the structure of the government. And while we're at it, uh, we should get rid of this anomaly of a governor general and clarify the status of the monarchy. <laughs> so that's easy work then, Mr. Black. <laughs> it, it could be done. Yeah. And, and serious countries do it. They don't s sit around with obsolescent political institutions indefinitely. And, and Pierre Trudeau deserves great credit for at least patriating the Constitution. That Let was, as you were, you're probably too young to remember it all, but it's a terrible <laughs> controversy, but he got it done.